basketball league you know pretty much feeling like we're giving back to the community in some small way you know we're here we got two gyms hosting basketball games we got workshops we got classrooms hosting workshops life skills and peer mentorship so we have over 60 teams in our league from grade 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so and we have about 10 teams in every um, division so you know a bit of everybody a bit of you know everything for the kids essentially what is the difference between the Phoenix Basketball League and other basketball leagues out there? That's a tough question. I don't want to speak on the behalf of other basketball leagues, but I believe what the Phoenix Basketball League brings to the table is that it's more focused for the demographic of kids living in priority neighborhoods. You know, um, I think it's grown to where you know, we serve and have teams outside of priority neighborhoods, but it's focused and its emphasis is for the Jane and Finch and Jane and Shepherd and all the Jane and all the Finch and all the local communities, teams, and youth in the area. So I think that's what we're different. I think other leagues, which I don't know fully and I don't want to speak about much, is they're more open for any and everyone, but our initiative is to give back to the community, keep the kids off the streets, safe and sound, give them a safe space to be at as much as we can for minimal or no cost at all. And I think that's the difference between our league and every other league, to be honest. Ready, set, play, charity is a wonderful thing, wonderful charity. This is their second year, you know, giving us um, a great donation to help the league grow and build. And because of them today, essentially, we're able to have 60 teams, have 600 kids, have kids from the priority neighborhoods in Toronto, and now we're servicing some other kids. So this is great, you know. As a result of the Phoenix League being possible through the supports that we have received um, through Ephraim's Place and all of our sponsors and funders, the impact of this league has, it's, it could be insurmountable, right? Like, being able to provide a weekly space where youth have something to look forward to, doing what they love to do, that's got to mean so much to so many people on so many different levels. And I remember when I was growing up, man, I used to really look forward to all of my community center programming, specifically dance, because, you know, I tried to do my thing. And I loved soccer and I played that too with basketball. Like, I mean, just looking forward to the weekly practices, knowing that I was going to travel and visit different communities and meet new people. That was, that was dope. You know, and when you think about the impact that high school sports or middle school sports, basketball particularly, has on young people, like, you, you do your best. You do your best to keep your grades up. You do your best to stay on your parents' good side so that you won't be punished while the games are happening. And you do your best in everything so that on that one day a week, you could come and have fun and engage with other players and again travel to different communities and meet new people like you were always on your best because you knew that this was something you wanted to do and that's why the impact of athletics basketball is so huge because even if that is the catalyst for young people to do good or to want to do good on a regular basis let's use it who cares what the reason is Right? Like, let's continue to provide them with a space where they can have these fun and engaging and, and, and opportunities to connect and meet new people. Let's, let's provide them with that as much as we can. Let's support them through that if it means that at the end of the day, they're going to be the best possible, them, their best possible self. Right? So the impact is huge. We know what I really want to inspire. 
when this basketball, Phoenix Basketball League is done, I want to inspire young, hungry youth to believe that, hey, if Jeremiah could do something like this, of this stature, I could do it too. Because I tell them I'm a representation of them. I come from the same community as them. I play the same sport as them. I'm going to have the same education level as them once they go to university and get that degree. So this is all achievable. I ain't no different than them. They ain't no different than me. If they like the league and if we could get 60 teams here, if we could have 600 kids here, if we could get Ready, Set, Play to, you know, believe in us and Ephraim's Place to, you know, put the idea and to know that it could be done and it's done, I wanted to say I could do something as great or even better than what Jeremiah did with the Phoenix basketball team. So when this is done and over, I want to inspire the youth to believe I can do what Jeremiah did or even better. That's what I'm thinking.